Yeah, he's dead. Take him his kit. Guy dead? Never mind. Taking my kit back. Where's my kit? Wait, where's my kit? Don't tell me I'm stuck with this guy's kit. Son of a bitch, happened again. I switch kits with someone and my kit just instantly disappears. Kit just disappears? And now I've got a freaking M tile with holographic. G'day folks, Tobo here, and this is another relatively short video today because I don't have a lot of things to talk about, but uh, they're worth talking about nonetheless. So the first thing I want to address is that uh, this video here is just a little round that uh, James and I played on Caspian Border, uh, 64 Man Conquest, well not really a little round, it was a marathon that went for 42 minutes. Um, it is the last of the Fraps footage that I have saved up. So I figured that uh, I would make a video out of yeah, it and I would use it up so that fail. nothing would be uh, wasted and uh, throw it together and put a little commentary over it to make a couple of small announcements. So that's basically the purpose of this video. Uh, so the reason why this is the last of my Fraps footage is because, uh, well basically I've moved on to something better after about well, two weeks of endless frustration and uh, no shortage of help from Python, we were able to figure out how to uh, work DxTory. Because uh, for the, those of you who use it, uh, I'm sure you're well aware of its myriad of features and endless customization options. And it took a lot of trial and error to get it right. But uh, I do have it right now. I know how to use it properly. And uh, so. Any th anything I put up in the future from here on will be DX Tory footage. So that means it'll be better quality. Um, it'll be able to support higher uh, quality settings on YouTube. So it'll, it'll be able to go up to 10 uh, sorry 1080p hopefully. So it won't be limited to 720. And it'll be true 1080 this time. And um, so soon. I will be making a video which is introducing some of the other games that I play. I mentioned this a while ago and uh, I'm gonna make a video uh, talking about all the different games that I also play of uh, one particular genre and you'll see what genre that is when I put the video up and uh, that, that won't be too far I'll just have to collect some footage from each of the games, compile it, um, maybe put a bit of music in it and uh, then then post that, and I'll I'll do one for each of the uh, um, I'll do one for each of the genres I play. So I'll do one for FPSs, one for RTSs, one. one for combat yeah, sims, know, and maybe one for Another unrelated one. stuff. Perhaps you know, just did. something that doesn't fit into those other genres. And uh, following that, I will be putting up some footage. Of a new yeah, series that I'm us. that I am going to do, and it's just basically me Tell playing me. some me. unusual games that aren't part of the mainstream, and so it'll be some pretty wacky stuff. But I think you'll enjoy it. It's it's some pretty good oh, stuff. I think this guy tried to jack my and okay. also I have some I saved footage of um, World in Conflict, some multiplayer. With uh, with Python, he uh, he and I have played it quite a bit, and we still play it from time to time, and uh, and all, uh, uh, that that was recorded with Fraps. So, I I yeah okay I was I was wrong. Uh, I do have a little bit of Fraps stuff left over, and that's just the World in Conflict stuff. But uh, since um, you know since high frame rates and uh, visual quality isn't uh, as imperative in RTSs as it is in something like Battlefield 3. It hopefully shouldn't bother you too much that it's yeah. that's you know relatively low quality compared to DX Tory and it's only 720p maximum compared to compared to the uh, really high quality of footage that um, DX Tory offers. So uh, yeah, aside from the multiplayer f matches that I have recorded for that, I'll be putting up some. Uh, well, well, I'll be doing my first single-player playthrough of World in Conflict. And I plan to do that for plenty of other games as well, both with RTSs and uh, some other games, but um, primarily the RTSs because I think they're the best for doing single-player playthroughs because, well, I don't know, maybe it's just the, f the fact that uh, RTSs seem to be generally more challenging, uh, at least when you're playing by yourself. 
So uh, th that'll be that'll be going up there, and uh, yeah, it'll give you a chance to basically appreciate a game that is so underappreciated in the gaming world because it's an excellent game, and it's uh, it's just a shame that not many people really know about it. And uh, so basically, I just want to spread the word and uh, show you guys what a great game yes. it can be. And also, uh, James has it as well, so I'll be able, be able to get a couple of matches in with him. And uh, with Python as well. And maybe your fourth guy as well, while we stomp the bots. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that. So there you go. That's uh, that's pretty much all, everything I wanted to say. I hope you enjoy the footage. And, uh, yeah, look forward to the, those videos I promised. And... Oh, yeah, look okay. forward to some nice shiny new quality DX Tory footage. So that'll be that'll be in the wow. future, yeah. not it's too it's long it's from now. So that wraps it up, so. and uh, I'll see you guys later. I mean, you're Take care. And it's, just, it's more or less like the MP7, just with a slightly smaller mag. Wow, 48 and six. <laughs> Let's see how long I can mess with this guy for. Come on, come on. You can do it! Come on! Come on! Uh, I want to run him over, but he's being tricky. Alright, let's see how he dodges this. Oh, I'm sorry, he didn't make it that time. <laughs> uh.